Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. I'm gonna keep this one pretty short. Actually, it might be a little bit long. I don't really know, but anyway, well, not really that long. Anyway, welcome back everyone to another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make the windmill. Simple crafting recipe. This is the windmill right here. Doesn't hurt you. So, you're gonna need a generator and four iron ingots. So, to make the windmill, we are going to take the generator and we're going to make an X format with the um, iron ingots around it and then you're going to get the windmill but that is the windmill here now a cool thing that you can do with the windmill is you can actually put in like batteries here and it will charge and I think you can do the same with like a nano suit or something so um, the maximum strength for the windmill, it can either be a, if I actually grab, I believe it's a window meter, wind, wind meter, wind meter, here we go. So I can take this and I can see what the wind strength is at. You can see this one is at 29.76. If you want to know how to make the wind meter, it is this that we haven't gone over yet. Small power unit like that. But... We haven't gone over this piece yet, I'm just showing you what the wind is. It updates about every six and a half seconds, I'd say. So this is how it's done, and then there's obviously like some math calculation about it. It's like a... Um, S is like power is like S times Y minus... I don't know. It, there's, there's a power equation to it, but how effective is it? to use as a source of energy let's grab our insulated cable and let's grab our battery box which is up here and if we attach one two here let's actually move this here you can see that there's no battery in there it's actually a pretty effective um piece of power generation from the little amount of stuff that we used to make it combine two of these together and you get double the output power because this battery oh we, we took it out but yeah like even just two of these like it goes pretty quick so yes i would definitely recommend this little tiny windmill here you can make a ton of these too based on how cheap they are so i'd say it's a pretty good deal to make these windmills so recommended yes for starting of course i would Anyway, that's going to be it for today's episode on me looking at Industrial Craft 2 stuff. If you want to check out more ways to generate power, we have a playlist down in the description about all these so far. More will be coming soon. If you are new to this and you're, this is your first time seeing this, what I'm doing is going over the power generation things and then I'm going to move on to tools and all that other stuff about Industrial Craft. So... This is basic power generation. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I hope to see all of you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.